All right, man. Tyrell Crosby uh, slams uh, Brown Holmes, Detroit Lions, in the current Lions regime. Now, if you forget, you know, remember he kind of like got cut, but they had to keep him over injury. Uh, we didn't know if he was on the roster, off the roster. A lot of people was upset that they got rid of him because he got he gave us a lot of depth and versatility at offensive line. I think he could play guard, center, right tackle, left tackle. But we didn't know how good Matt Nelson was, <clears throat> a couple of the Alliance backups was. So, um, but Tyrell Crosby slams current Lions regime. They they truly just don't care about the players. All right, let's get to it. Check out Detroit Lions top playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. So Tyrell Crosby released currently the Detroit Lions regime held a grudge against him and ignored his medical complaint complaints. He said that, let me make sure I see it. Here we go. The new, the Detroit Lions new regime led by Dan Campbell, General Matthew Brad Holmes, is widely praised <clears throat> for their first year job due to their ability to connect and communicate with players. Their authenticity and openness have been praised by the media players and analysts alike. But former Lions offensive tackle Terrell Crosby painted the administration in a very different light in the conversation with the Detroit Free Press about the messy injury uh, situation that the team, uh, that with, with the team last year. The story begins back in May of 2021. Holmes had just drafted Penny Sewell. There was a report ES, uh, from ESPN that Crosby was subsequently on the trading block. A few weeks later, the Lions opened up voluntary organized team activities, and Crosby did not show up. While many speculated that Crosby was upset over the trade rumors, the offensive tackle claimed otherwise, stating he was simply homesick after essentially quarantining during the 2020 season, which had extremely strict COVID-19 policies. Crosby alleged that everyone from Campbell to Holmes to the offensive coordinator Anthony Lynn held his decision against him from the free story. He said at many camp, Crosby said then Lions offensive coordinator Anthony Lynn shouted at him during the drills about missing OTAs for being afraid to compete. He said Campbell and general manager Brad Holmes called him into the office last spring, pretty much saying how I'm bad for the team because I walked around like I don't care about the about my teammates, the city of Detroit, the staff members, when that's everything of those everything of those are like the furthest from the truth. Things escalated during training camp when a hamstring injury held Crosby out most practices in preseason. It was then, according to Crosby, that he complained about a back pain. Those concerns were largely ignored or dismissed. The pain continued that he was even reportedly fined five thousand for missing the weight room workout when Crosby said he received treatment for his back. It was around this time that the Lions suddenly fired lead trainer Dan Graniano, Graniano as a decision that was never fully explained by Campbell. Quote, I don't really want to get into the details why Campbell said. I can tell you this. Our guys were getting proper treatment. It was nothing like that. However, the, pro the problem didn't stop there for Crosby. A few weeks later, he made a preseason debut in the finale. And the Lions wave injured him three days later. Right? Detroit offered a four-week injury settlement when Crosby turned it down and sought medical opinion from an independent physician. There, it was revealed in a MRI that he had a degenerated back condition. That road eventually led him to a spinal fusion surgery in December, a procedure that he's still recovering from and could threaten the rest of his career. The entire ordeal was left Crosby frustrated with the Lions organization. He gave free agent free press some down in quotes. Now, hold on real quick. Mean, mean, all this they was mad at him. This sound like I was mad at him because he missed OTH, a mandatory mini camp. Now, they're gonna have a different side of the story, and obviously, we probably won't get their side of the story. But I mean, sometimes people need some time off of shit. It is what it is. But you gotta remember too, you gotta strike you gotta strike against you because you're not one of their draft picks, you know. So or they ain't bring you in. You know, so it is what it is. See what happened to me before that matter because you say, Well, you can't come in. I got this going on. You know what I'm saying? A lot of jobs want you to put yourself before the job, but once you die, they don't even want to be giving you, you know. Or so you get hurt, they don't even want to give you short-term disability. They don't want to give your family no nothing. They only want to throw you a party. So yeah, I, I'm all with this a job. If I need some mental time off, I forget y'all. You no, know, but it is what it is. 
But when you do that, you better come in shape and not come out of shape and better be ready. Quote, he said, I wouldn't go out the way uh, out the way for anybody in that building and then realize, oh, they actually just treat you like a, a genuine piece of meat. And they don't. They act like the tr they truly uh, don't care. It's so disheartening. And I hear from God, uh, like I hear from like other guys around the league that most teams aren't that way. And you start to understand, oh, is, this is definitely something that starts from the top down. It sucks. I wouldn't want to play for an organization just knowing what I know now, just how poorly they treat the players. Now, he ain't the first person to say that. Calvin Johnson said the same shit, but this is a different regime, though. So the Lions declined to comment on the story, so we'll, we will likely hear Crosby side of these events, though it's worth knowing that it isn't the first time the Lions have been criticized for mistreating players when it comes to medical treatment. Since his retirement, Hall of Famer Calvin Johnson has lobbied several complaints about the team's medical staff. So, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So he ain't the only one, but, you know, we didn't know what was going on from, from him with him. You know, but apparently his career can be over with. And they got mad over a mini camp. Like, get, out, get up out of here. Get up out of here. Get up out of here. You know, okay, I missed the fucking mini camp. So what? And I'll let you know I was missing and why I missed it, bro. And it's a valid excuse. So, I mean, you can't tell me how I feel. You know, so I, I mean, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. To me, that shit is a piece of crap. Because we we'll never hear from Nate Sider's story. So, do it really matter? So, it is what it is. And one of the worst things he got going for, you, for him is that the union sucks. So, there ain't really nothing you can do about it. You keep trying to fight it, but the union suck and hope he took care of his money because he may never play again. That's fine. Let's use the same thing the kid from the Kansas City got. The dude that was a Justin Ross or whatever his name is from the Clemson Tigers. He got drafted to Kansas City, even though his, his career or well, his season got ended over a couple weeks ago or a week ago because of foot injury. But that's final fusion, man. I ain't nothing to play around with, you know. Nobody in the NFL has ever came back and played with a spinal fusion. You know, but, you know, you got to make a living. You got to make a living. A lot of people was getting sick with the virus and still going to work. Check that out for a minute because guess what? If I don't work, I'm going to get evicted. I ain't got no money. They ain't got no no plans. You know, this supposed to be a top-ranked country. And they, ain't, they got no plans in place, you know, very few plans in place to help the working man. <clears throat> and most people, you know, means is way above what unemployment give you. They ain't really trying to give you that. Crazy, right? But it's messed up. It's messed up. It is truly messed up. But it's the way the game is played. It is the way the game is played. So he, you know, he didn't. You gotta realize how weak your union is. Hopefully, you get some get back. But yeah, this ain't the first time Spike complained about this work, this organization, in, in that term of light. And this light, it's nothing new. It's nothing new at all. But. It is what it is, and, you know, hopefully, you know, he find what he's looking for and all that stuff, but he's one case. But obviously, you know, you, you're you not going to hear from current players complaining about the regime. That's just not going to happen. You know, you're you just not going to hear it. you just not. You're just not going to hear it. You're just not. Now you're gonna hear you're gonna hear from you know you're gonna hear from guys like uh you're gonna hear from guys like uh that that you know you're gonna probably hear from the guys like uh you're gonna probably hear from guys like uh that you know they used to play for the Lions, that's free agency and all that stuff who can't get a job or go to a new team. Then you start hearing stuff. We ain't heard stuff from new type of guys. 
No, Jamie Collins really ain't say nothing about uh he really ain't say nothing about, you know, uh you know what actually happened here, but you know, ain't been too many complaints. Of course, everybody not gonna be happy camper. You know, everybody not gonna be a happy camper. That's just what it is. Some people are gonna be pissed. You know, but during the pandemic, you you think some you know during the, after the pandemic and at the you know damn near at the high, you think they'd be a little bit more understanding though. But it is what it is. I say employer don't care what you can do for them, not what they can do for you. You know, and that's just that is what it is. You know, and that's messed up. It's messed up, but. But you know, if this was this was more, if this was more um, player saying this about this regime, it's not. You know, you got DJ Shark coming in here saying that some pop is better than Jacksonville, which you know he was there before Urban Meyer, so that ain't much to say because that's Jacksonville. But it's more than Jacksonville, it's better than Jacksonville. But a lot of guys seem to want to play and run through a wall for them, which we seen with Matt Patricia. We seen a lot of guys. That wasn't running for the wall. So you had a Matt Patricia holdover, which he, Matt Patricia did draft and pick him. You got a Matt Patricia holdover saying something totally different. You know? And I think it all started with the trade rumors. And he it was in the contract year, I believe, too. Or close to it. Well, he was trying to well, they wasn't gonna tag him. So so obviously they got off on the wrong foot. And they probably felt that he didn't come on because of the contract. Too. And that could be true. But if they ain't got proof, then they can't really prove it. They can't prove it. So, like I said before, if it was more people kind of like saying this about this regime, it's just been so many glowing reviews. So you always going to, you know, you're never going to get a 100%. You're never going to get 100% approval away from everybody. It's going to be somebody who going who gonna to feel a certain type of way for you know whatever reason that's just what it is no but hey let me know what you girls and guys think about it i'm gonna side with the lions on this one but i don't know i don't know i really don't know about what the real 411 is but check out detroit lions talk playlist thumbs up the video share the video subscribe to the channel and the subscribe button it's the bell icon button hit all notifications increase your chance of notifications we go live drop video and then you want to support the channel, Cash App, Dollar Sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, uh, PayPal link in the description. Um, appreciate the love support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Uh, one time for the one time. Peace.